Mikey, 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 Mikey with him. He's like that. This my wow. dog. Mommy's going big. Yes, sir. Number one in the nation. Mikey Williams is among the nation's top prep basketball players, winning National Freshman of the Year in 2019. He is currently committed to the University of Memphis for next year. Local high school basketball star Mikey Williams is accused of assault with a deadly weapon. Mikey Williams had one of the most talked about come ups for any high school prospect ever. This kid was predicted to become the next big thing in the NBA at just 14 years old. Outside of Bronny James, Mikey was the most popular high school basketball player in the country. With over 5 million followers on Instagram and TikTok combined, he was a huge deal, being the poster child in the new era of name, image, and likeness. He even became the first American high school basketball player to sign a sneaker deal with a global footwear company at just 17 years old. But now, it looks like Mikey Williams is just another case of a great prospect not living up to the hype, leaving his NBA dream in serious doubt. But where did it all go wrong for Mikey? How did a kid that was once labeled as a generational recruit completely fall out of the spotlight? There is a lot that led up to this point, so to fully understand the story behind it all, let's go back to when Mikey Williams was first discovered. His insane rise first came through social media, as he gained fame playing alongside Bronny James in middle school for the AAU team, the North Coast Blue Chips, coached by none other than LeBron. He was extremely advanced for his age, dunking casually at just 12 years old, and was far and beyond the best player on the team that featured Bronny James. Mikey was hailed as the next big thing, with national headlines like Mikey Williams is coming for the league, and the best 14-year-old basketball player in the world. Mikey was becoming a viral basketball sensation before even touching a high school basketball court. And once high school basketball came around, there was no doubt the world thought Mikey would dominate. In his first ever game as a freshman at San Isidro High School, Mikey dropped an insane 46 points. And in his second game, he had 50 points. He literally dropped almost 100 points in his first two high school basketball games ever at 15 years old. It was completely unheard of. Later in his freshman season, he scored a mind-blowing 77 points, which included nine three-pointers and breaking the California State single-game scoring record. He led his team to their conference title, averaging just shy of 30 points per game in his freshman season. No wonder he was crowned Max Prep's National Freshman of the Year. Then, he switched gears and headed to Lake Norman Christian School in North Carolina for his sophomore and junior seasons, putting up a solid 21 points per game and 23 points per game, respectively. Mikey eventually made a comeback to San Isidro High School for his senior year, where he still managed to shine, averaging over 23 points, 9 assists, and 3 rebounds per game. But while the numbers were impressive, it didn't lead to winning basketball, as his team failed to even capture their league title his senior season. But what was even more concerning outside of not winning was his attitude and lack of care for the game. Spectators and opposing teams began to severely question how much he really cared about team basketball during his senior year. It's reported that Carlsbad, an opponent of Mikey's high school, studied tape on him his senior year when they were planning a game plan for him, and Carlsbad even admitted that they were laughing at his lack of defensive intensity when watching tape on him. And then when Carlsbad actually matched up against Mikey, they even said that there were multiple possessions where Mikey was caught flat-footed on defense and just let defenders blow by him. There were also multiple instances where he didn't hustle back on defense. In fact, the Carlsbad head coach summed it up perfectly, saying, It felt like he was kind of going through the motions. It felt like he was into his persona more than he was into the actual season. It's safe to say that Mikey did not just see a production decrease, but a severe lack of effort in his senior season, causing his stock to trend down over the course of his high school career. He went from being a social media sensation with millions of followers and being called the best 14-year-old in the world to a four-star recruit. He never really seemed to grow from his insane freshman season. 
Even with all the red flags, his talent alone still had him land multiple Division I offers from big-name programs like Arizona, Arizona State, and more. And in November of 2022, Mikey committed to play for the University of Memphis to play under coach Penny Hardaway starting in the 2023-24 season. Memphis was getting a player who had his question marks, but deniably talented who could potentially get his act together in the right environment. There were even talks of him being the next Derrick Rose at Memphis because he was that talented and said to have the keys to the offense. But maybe the perception of what Mikey could be at the next level was far greater than the reality of who Mikey really is. The facts are that as a middle schooler, he outshined Bronny James on a team coached by LeBron. Obviously, that narrative alone will get people talking about you. And add the fact that he averaged 30 his freshman year. But fast forward to his senior year, he dropped significantly in rankings, showed a carefree attitude, and failed to average anywhere close to stats he put up his freshman year. Seeing a regression over a high school career had scouts starting to have doubts about his NBA potential. And by the end of his senior season, he failed to make the McDonald's All-American game, fell out of 2024 mock drafts, and plummeted in the 2023 rankings. Rivals.com even dropped Mikey all the way to number 71 in their final 2023 class ranking. And although Mikey's carefree attitude allowed him to never grow into the player he could have become, it should be noted that his skill set never really improved or diversified much over his high school career, which was a major cause for concern. He still played the same way, ball dominant and looking to score at will. While he showed he was capable of running a team as a scoring point guard, he needed to realize he'll need to become more willing to make others better as he continues to develop. But maybe the pressure got to him. Living up to all that hype at such a young age has been something only few have risen above. Look at another recent example, Amani Bates, who also received huge hype as the next big thing, turned out to be an underwhelming story, at least up to this point. If you want to learn more about Amani Bates' story, his video will be linked at the end of this one. But the real intrigue was watching to see what Mikey would do at the next level. Mikey's image had a lot of question marks heading into college. He either had the opportunity to really prove skeptics wrong and showcase his elite talent at the next level, or prove skeptics right that have written him off and said that he really didn't care about basketball. But just as everyone was gearing up for that question to be answered, something completely out of the ordinary happened. Something that nobody could have ever predicted. Mikey got in serious trouble with the law. He faced up to nine gun charges and shooting at trespassers on his property. According to the county sheriff's department, a shooting occurred after guests in his house were asked to leave, leading to an argument ensuing. Mikey was so angry that visitors unexpectedly showed up to his house that he allegedly threatened to shoot them. Then he allegedly fired a handgun at their vehicle as they drove away, damaging their trunk and rear windshield, though no one was harmed. Five people, including three minors, were in the vehicle as the gunfire erupted. It was a whole saga, and Mikey was arrested on April 13, 2023. He pleaded not guilty to the nine felony charges, carrying a potential 30-year prison sentence. While his University of Memphis teammates hit the court for the season opener, Mikey was stuck in California, awaiting a jury trial set for mid-December 2023. Now, to make matters even worse, the evidence against Mikey was very strong, raising doubts about the 19-year-old's chances to ever even play basketball again. Social media didn't hold back either, as he drew comparisons to Ja Morant as both similar instances had a similar timeline. But fortunately for Mikey, in late December 2023, the charges were reduced to volunteer work due to a plea deal, and suddenly, Mikey was back in basketball. It was a very surprising turn of events, to say the least. Mikey was eventually cleared to play for Memphis, but he never suited up for the Tigers as the season was already in full swing by the time the charges were dropped. And his high school teammate that followed him to Memphis, JJ Taylor, was also suspended from the team for disciplinary reasons. This led them to both transfer to different schools. 
Mikey eventually transferred to the University of Central Florida, which was quite unexpected. UCF is not exactly known for producing NBA-level talent, leaving folks wondering what Mikey was thinking. Some say he's playing the long game, proving himself at UCF before making a move to a bigger Division I program. He should play for the UCF Knights in the 2024-25 season. But where does that leave Mikey and his future? From once being labeled as one of the best high school players in the country and a future NBA lock, to not playing organized basketball in over a year, will he ever bounce back from the setbacks? Or will he just go down as another what if story? Thanks for watching! If you want to watch another very similar story, check out this video on Imani Bates linked right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And turn on post notifications so you never miss any new videos. We'll see you in the next one.